y'all. It's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another home tour. So it has been a minute since I've shown you a tour of all the rooms in my house. I did a Christmas tour, but that was only of the rooms that had Christmas decor. So the last time I showed you every single room in the house was, I believe, my two-month update after I purchased this home. And that was last year. So it's been about a year and a half since I purchased my home. I've done a lot since then, but there's still a lot to do. Um, but I tend to go through what I call spring cleaning. Spring comes around and I feel the need to clean everything top to bottom. I feel the need to decorate everything top to bottom. <laughs> I've been doing lots of Christmas stuff over Christmas, but now I want the whole house to just be pretty and spring and clean. So we still have lots of projects to do. For example, I literally have fabric on my desk chair that's going to go for a retufted ottoman that I picked up on Facebook Marketplace. So this coffee table that I love, but I had for over 10 years and my mom had for about 20 years before me needs needs a refresh so it's going to go somewhere else and we get a new coffee table in here so there's lots of new things happening i think despite my christmas tour this is the first time you've seen my new couch with all the pillows on it that aren't christmas so that's exciting um but we're just going to go through every room in the house and just show you kind of where things are at now um what i've done over the last year and a half and I'm not gonna go over a full list of what I still want to do because we'd be here for 12 million years, but I will give you a brief update. So obviously this is the living room. And if you need an even more big picture update, this is the Lulame Farmhouse by Buccaneer. It is a manufactured home. I have a whole playlist on my YouTube channel that I will link below that shows you a little bit more of like the delivery and the setup process. Um, and if you have any questions, I did just recently do a question and answer video, answering all of your questions about the buying process, about what it was like to, you know, pick this home and have it set up and delivered. If you have more questions, leave them on that video. I'm probably going to do a second question and answer in the future once I get enough questions. But for today, you're in the house. We are just showing you all the pretty things. So this is the living room. It is huge, you guys. So that's one of the main reasons I picked this house is because the living room, kitchen, and dining room are all one space, which is great for A, entertaining, but B, just living in, it gives you a nice big space. <laughs> my dogs are all smelling the tripod. And I like being able to see my pretty kitchen from the living room and vice versa. I do like having my bedroom be separate. Obviously, I wouldn't just want one giant studio house. I don't think that's a thing, but so, since last year, we've had a few changes. Last week, literally, my brother helped me finally get my fish tank set up. So it's not even fully stocked with fish yet, but I just love having that live little aspect in the corner. I've been bringing lots more plants in. My poor little spring bulbs are finally hit the dust, so I need some, I need some new house plants, I think. I don't have any, um, so I think we get some house plants from here. But fish tank and on my waller finally went up. So last year, I will put a picture when we get to the guest room. I finally did the guest room and all of my wall art had been put in the closet of the guest room. So it's been inaccessible for a whole year. So I finally got my wall art up, which is fun for me because most of these things are like, I make this sign, there's a tutorial for that. This clock was from my first apartment. Um, I have photos from our wedding. I have this pretty little elephant that was carved from driftwood and hand painted from a girl in uh, Belize from a cruise mom that I went on. And all of the masks I collected all over um, when I went to art history in Italy in college. And then my cow, because I love this mustard seed and she convinced me I needed a cow. So other than that, I replaced my couch. Now I did have someone else reupholster it because I'm not that cool. But I did paint it and refinish the wood myself. And so once it's completely done, he accidentally used gold nail heads instead of copper and he's having a hard time getting copper in. It has a matching chair that he still has. So once it's 100% finished, 
I will do an update on that. But for now, I do still love how it looks in the space. And it's an actual, like, antique wood piece of furniture. So it's much better quality than anything in my budget that I could have bought. I paid $900 to have it completely redone as opposed to buying a brand new sofa for $900. The ones that I was looking at were smaller and way less quality. I did actually pick up these two. I feel like half my living room is new. Uh, these two end tables, I painted them. They were a really good price. I got these lamps. I went and found them at the store and I loved them, but I wasn't sure they were tall enough. They were $89. I went back two days later with a measuring tape the girl was literally marking them down. $22.49. You can't make this stuff up. And then we stopped at another thrift store on the way home, and my mom bought me these two salmon velvet chairs for 60 bucks. So, you know, go figure. Also, this is probably the first time you're really seeing my rug. I did replace the rug, both rugs, since I have five dogs. I loved my old rugs, but they were about 10 years old. So I replaced both of them with washable rugs. So far, I am loving them. They're not that thick, plush, like underfoot carpet that I would like, but they add warmth and texture and color and pattern. And if they get an accident on them, I just pop them in my washing machine. So I'm in love. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna start bringing you around the house. So, a little closer look at this wall. You can see my dead bulbs, but these chairs, I'm telling you, 60 bucks for both of them. And they're Ethan Allen. Got a little wall gallery in the hallway. This I made, it, <laughs> they are literally Schitt's Creek Motel. They even say you, David. They're resin. I made those a couple months ago. There's a tutorial for that. But I love, love, love how it's all coming together. You can see back here, this is still a problem area. I have a couple boxes my dad sent me that were my grandfather's cameras. I need to unpack those and see what's in there and what I can do with them. Couch can see the coffee table and the rug. I love this rug. It's so pretty. And you know, I try picking up the stuffed animals, but it's just not possible. I do have my little secretary back here. It's still set up for Valentine's Day. I'm just about ready to redecorate for Easter. But here's the dining room. Looks so much better since they lowered that chandelier. It is still set for Valentine's Day. Like I said, I think later this week I'll probably reset everything for Easter. And for everyone who has a problem with my pie safe in front of that window, that is like one of the main things you guys hate. I love it. I love that pie safe. It is one of the few things I bought when I was first starting out. It's the first thing my husband and I painted together. I'm not going to be in this house forever, and so I would rather block one window of the one, two, three, four giant windows than get rid of something I love. So thank you for the opinion, but no thanks. And the kitchen. I love this kitchen. This is honestly one of the selling points of this home. So the island is huge. You can sit here for lunch, which I often do. I actually like to sit here and work because it has a good outlet on both sides that you can use for your computer or things like, you know, little choppers or blenders or whatever when you're cooking. Here are the shelves that I use for display space. Obviously, you don't have to fill them up quite so much, but I like it. Only thing I don't love is that I have that little three-tiered tray and that bag on the door over there, and those are both to go outside in the garden. I have my Ninja and my rice cooker. That's like the main things I use. 
do love my stove. I am working on a video right now for how all of the things in the home have held up for the first year. So my stove, my sink, my counters, my floors, the cabinets, I'm going to go through everything. So if you have things you want to know about, leave it down below. Here's the next room. So this is the butler's pantry that goes into the laundry room. I love that it has a little bit more display space and of course a little bit more storage down below. So that's always really nice. It has some nice cabinets. But this is the money shot of my champagne washer and dryer. I do want to build nicer shelves over top to hold things and display things. And maybe even I'm thinking behind my farmhouse door over here, a cabinet to conceal some of this stuff that's not quite as pretty. But for now, it is neat and tidy and it still looks good. This is the farmhouse dog door mom and I built last year and it still works perfectly. Got my little menu board. I don't know why, but I love this ironing board. I bought it in college and then mom just got me this one a couple weeks ago. I need to put some pictures up on my bulletin board there. Into the laundry room, we have Amidagos. Hi, girls. This is Little Bit and Princess. Princess. She just wants to lick my toes. We have the dog door that I don't know that I've done a video on that, but I have a video. So if you want to know how to put a dog door in, let me know. The rest of my dogs. They're doing something funky. But on this half of the room, we have my laundry room cabinet. And I think this might be the project in the house that I'm most proud of. So I not only designed this from scratch, but my mom and I built it together. And all of these pegboards slide out. There are shelves behind them easy access. There's definitely a video on this because it was, it was quite the project and I just, I love it. Now I'm still going to be putting doors on it, especially because I don't know if you can see, but the bottom drawer that's supposed to hold all my fish tank supplies. Well, lady, yeah, I'm talking to you. She thinks it's a lady cubby hole and she goes in there. If there's fish supplies in there, she eats them. If there's tools in there, she eats them. If there's cords in there, she eats them. The general rule of thumb is she thinks that's her spot and anything in there she eats to make room for herself. So doors to hide everything, but especially for that little drawer at the bottom, but it works perfectly. The only problem I've had with this room has been the last couple weeks as ladies been teething. When I lock them in here, she's destroying my molding. That's not a problem with the room. That's a problem with the dog, but you know, she's a baby. She will grow out of that. She will be fine eventually. So we're just going to have to fix the molding when she's, when she's done TV. But either way, I love this cabinet. I love how it turned out and I love that I can say I made it. So this is the general, um, idea for over the washer and dryer. I'm going to build, I think at least two shelves with cabinets on the left for storage and for decorative purposes, because once I put doors on this, I would like to put a few pretty things in here. Um, I'm not sure what yet. It doesn't have to be super pretty, more like functional pretty. So, you know, maybe a jar with dryer sheets or something, but either way, we have more projects in this room, including this wall. I have this little sign that I love and you can see my camera because like to be able to see my dogs when I'm not here. I have cameras all over the house, so this one watches the dogs. But I think I'm gonna put maybe some cheetah print faux wallpaper up with my Cricut. That's what I've been thinking. I just haven't quite sold myself on it yet. So if you have a different idea, let me know. I think I'm gonna wait till I put doors on this so I can really tell how it will look. All right, so back out of the laundry room. I think the big dog kennel is going to have to go in the guest room, but you know, we do need that from time to time. 
All right, from the dining room. <laughs> through the living room, let's go down the hallway. So, the hallway itself, of course, is a little dark, so there's no windows, but you can see there are two doors on the left, one door on the right, and my bedroom at the end, and then, of course, my Christmas closet. So the Lula May actually has a built-in desk here, um, which if you have kids in both of the spare bedrooms, having a desk here could be useful. Honestly, the master bedroom is big enough. You could easily put a desk in there. And this house, my number one complaint is that there's not a lot of storage. So I made this into a Christmas closet. It is actually very organized but there's no light in there, so that's a little frustrating. If I had thought about it, I would have put a light. Either way, the closet is great. And here, my friends, is your first look at the guest room. All finished. So obviously, this chair that I did, I did a tutorial on it, was a desk chair, um, and it served us well for many years, but... My husband finally broke the legs off of it, which is why it's so short. And we are going to put new legs on it. It's going to live at my brother's house. Sugar, what you doing, baby? You just being in the video? Okay, bring us in the room. And I think I'm going to put either the French chair that's in my living room with the ottoman or the gray chair that matches my couch here for guests. So in the meantime, we have... Just this tall dresser. We have the curtains. We have the actual bed. I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to keep these things behind the door. And we have the dresser with the ballerinas. Now my great aunt painted these. So they are very important to me and to my family. But I painted the frame silver right out of college, which was stupid. At the time, it worked with my first apartment, but now I'm not, not in love with it anymore. Oh, Shug, she hates it too. So we're going to repaint those and work on this a little bit more. I was thinking maybe blue to go with the blue of the ballerina and then distressed a little bit. You want to show them the office? Show them the office, Shuggy. Also, while we're in the hall... I love having family pictures. This is actually my grandma as a little girl. This is Biddy as a little puppy. Oh, I don't know if you can see this. That's me and my little brother. When I was like eight, maybe. He's my best friend. There's me in college. I think that was at senior night, actually, for cheerleading. It was at a basketball game. And some more of my cat. You know important stuff. And here is my office. I swear you guys, this is still maybe my favorite room in the whole house. Like it really just came out exactly how I planned it. So my desk here, I have a whole video on hanging the wallpaper. I have a whole video on how I made my logo. I cut that out with my Cricut and then covered it with resin. It's perfect. I have my two tall bookshelves here for storage. And I've mainly utilized boxes and bins on here. So this is things like, I have a whole box just of glue and adhesive. I have a whole box just of scrapbook stickers. Things that I do use, but not very often. I do have my Cricut 360 light, which I love. You guys, especially if you are like me and you craft mainly at night after everything is over, it's it's a must have. I have a whole review on it as well. I have my Cricut shelf. It has all my machines and my Cricut pegboard. I have videos on both of those. And I love that it is on wheels. So I can just pull this out and use my machines right on the cart. And then I have all my supplies over top. 
And while I have a video on building this pegboard, I don't think I've put up the video on organizing it. So I still need to do that. Then I have this bookshelf that has all my Cricut supplies and my pretty little collage here. This room does have just a few too many dog beds, but when I'm in here, they all like to come in here because I'll be here for a while. Then I do have my two Cricut and resin carts that I can pull out to work on projects. I have all of my most used pink vinyls and my cutting mats. Princess, that's a little much, sweetie. And in here, I have my walk-in closet. And you can see up here, this is the one shelf I started with. Show it off, Shuggy. And my mom and my best friend built me one, two, three new wraparound shelves. And despite what it looks like, this entire closet is very well organized. And my llama. So, resin cart that I take out to the front porch and my Cricut cart that I can wheel over to my desk. I am big on things on wheels or things in baskets, things that I can pick up, bring to my desk when I need to use them and then put back. And since I did not show you while I was back here, this desk my mom found for me. It needed a lot of love, but it is hand carved from Spain. It is like almost a hundred years old. I refinished it, needed a little love, added plexiglass to the top. It's a huge work surface. It has so much storage. It's beautiful. And how much was it, Shiggy? $75, you're right. Sometimes it is worth it to stock Facebook Marketplace and cinnamon. I have five dogs, so you're not seeing 12 dogs all over and over. You're seeing the same five dogs. Here's the guest bath. It is huge. Like if I stand in the middle, I cannot touch both walls. So, and it has a garden sized tub, which is great for guests and storing lighting kits when you're not using guests. I love the vanity, it has lots of storage, it has a whole extra row of storage here. I did tell you in my last walk through that despite this supposed to be a full wall, it only had a stud right here. It does not have another stud here. Everywhere else in the house, I have found plenty of studs, but this wall, which is a little worrisome, but close enough. Probably getting rid of this. And then this is my chandelier for the laundry room. Lights that I'm not sure where they're going. And a chair that needs fixed. My husband uh, broke all the arms off. Ah, oh, Shug. She says, no, it me. There you go, princess. That's a good spot for you. Good girl. Where's Lady? She's the shyest. You don't want to be in the video, honey. And I did pick up this dog gate at Marshall's. Maybe TJ Maxx. And I just put eye hooks on either side of the hallway so I can keep them out of this area if need be. You can go sit with your sister, lady. They love their beds. All right. Sugar says, pay attention, mom. It's time to show him the bedroom. Sugar, of all my dogs, she is my little shadow. So, the master is huge. So this is the only rug in my house that is not washable, but I don't allow the dogs free reign back here too much. So it's, it's okay. I have a big picture to go over here. And obviously this chair is getting redone. I love my bed. This was my mom's vanity that I redid when it needed a facelift. And my grandma's vanity, which I love. 
and it has casters, which I really like, but it's this glass. It's anti-glass. It's not the best, but you know, is what it is. On this side of the room, we have what used to be my husband's chair. It is the one thing after he passed that I could not get rid of. So I recovered it and now it is in here. I'm going to have this stool recovered to match, but I love this whole little area. My best friend and I painted this armoire that my mom helped me find. And I actually found this picture of Venice when I was out visiting her, my bestie in Dallas. Then we have this sweet little vignette over here which used to be my mom's entryway table at our house growing up. And this is a trunk my mom gave me, needs to be redone. And of course you could see my, uh, my Pandora Stackers box, which you see in lots of videos, but all in all, it is a huge bedroom and the crowning jewel, the bathroom. It's not too much exciting in here, but I just love this, this tub. And the shower is nice. Come in and have too much display space here, but I have a little bit, mostly functional things. Try to keep them as nice as you can. <laughs> I've got my laundry bin that mom and I made, huh, Shug? Huh, Shuggy Boogie? And a few more pieces, but that is pretty much the whole tour. So that is the whole house. Obviously we still have quite a few projects like this chair and the ottoman and the ottoman in the living room, you know, it's never done. We've got plenty of projects. I still need to rehaul my entire closet. It's the one room I haven't even tackled at all. So stay tuned, there's always more. But in the last year, I'm pretty happy with where things are now. I like that I can walk throughout the house and every room while it's not finished, feels done. That's the goal, you know? Nobody but me is gonna know they're not completely finished. So if you liked this video, I have lots more home projects coming up. I have another couple home tours. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for even more projects coming your way, like this spring garden update when I clean up my beds and start planting for summer. Can't wait. Bye y'all.